Hello everybody, my topic is Artin's Approximation Theorem. So let's get right into it. This is a definition that we'll need for the main theorem. Um, so a formal power series, you want to think about like a polynomial, but we don't have the restriction of finite degree. So in particular, we're going to start with a field k and an indeterminate x, and we're going to say, or we're going to define a formal power series, we say in x over k, just like polynomials, to be this formal sum here um, with coefficients in k and powers of x. So this is similar to polynomials um, in that we can also let k here be a ring. Um, we're just making it a field for convenience. Um, yeah, and then we're going to say the set of all such formal power series notationally is k double square bracket x, whereas for polynomials we would say k square bracket x. Um, so this is the main theorem. I just wanted to mention that this is actually due to Michael Artin rather than Emile Artin, who you might be familiar with. Um, Emile Artin is Michael Artin's father, but you can see this is from 1968, so it's pretty recent. Another thing is, there are actually several versions of Artin's approximation theorem. I'm just presenting one of them here. They were published in uh, multiple papers in different years. Um, but this is commonly known as one of Artin's analytic approximation theorems. Uh, so yeah, the setup is if we start with two indeterminants, x and y, and a field k, we're just requiring that it has characteristic zero for convenience. The different versions of Artin's approximation theorem have like stronger and weaker hypotheses that give stronger and weaker conclusions. Um, so we're just going to start with this one. Um, yes, and we're going to let little f be a polynomial in x and y, just a regular polynomial, not like uh, formal series, formal power series, and we're going to suppose that we already have a formal power series solution y hat of x. Uh, so the theorem says that if we have that, uh, a solution meaning that if we substitute y hat of x into little f for y, then the x terms cancel and we get zero. Um, so if we have that, then for arbitrarily large degree c, we can actually find a convergent power series solution. So not an arbitrary formal power series solution, but one that actually converges, um, for which that solution also satisfies f of x and y is equal to zero. And it has the same terms as y hat up to some degree c. So c is the total degree uh, if we want to make x uh, multivariable, which is commonly used when stating this theorem, but in this case we just have c as the degree of x. Um, yeah, so essentially the two polynomials match up to x to the c. So here's just one example of this theorem. If we take k to be the field of rationals, and little f to be this polynomial, 1 plus x times y squared minus y, then uh, we can actually do a Taylor series expansion and derive this formal power series solution. You can see it has infinitely many terms. And the coefficients happen to be the Catalan numbers, which is kind of cool. Um, so what Artin's theorem tells us is that we can find convergent power series solutions whose low degree terms match y hat of x to arbitrarily large degree. Um, yeah, so that's all I have, basically. Um, thank you all for listening, and have a wonderful winter break.